What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name's Seth and today we're gonna be playing some Battle Right Royale. Yes, that's right, Battle Right is a pretty cool game on Steam if you haven't checked it out. I haven't played it, I've only ever watched videos, but I do find it interesting because it's kind of like a League of Legends fighting game. And I think that it's really, really cool that these guys are actually jumping into the Royale type of gameplay because I personally think that the Royale game mode is fantastic but I feel like it's kind of missing its full potential in that if we end up adding elements of League where there's going to be power ups based on certain enemies that you end up killing and stuff like that in the environment, I think that could be really, really cool. I have not played this. I'm going into this absolutely blind and fresh, so we're going to be playing through the tutorial and hopefully it's going to be as cool as I think that it's going to be. Champion Jade. Ooh, okay. So there's melee characters, which I do think is pretty cool. Unless I can end up, oh my gosh, that guy actually looks really cool. Let me see if I can find like a champion that I'm gonna be into here. This guy's pretty neat as well. He's kind of generic though. Range characters I do like uh, most of the times. Okay, this guy reminds me of like a Protoss character or something. I like how I'm like prone to all of these weird creatures rather than just the generic humanoid characters. But I really do like the style of these characters. That it looks really really cool. Okay, uh, I don't know who I want to actually play as. Either I'm going to be this guy, beginner friendly, it says, so I guess I should be playing him rather than any of these other dudes, right? And then we can just get all up and personal with other people, right? Sure, yeah, let's do it. I'll take the opportunity to mention that the developers ended up inviting me to the closed beta version of the game, so this is not a public version that everyone's going to be able to play, unfortunately. Whoa, this is actually really cool! Hello! Okay, that's kind of weird. There are going to be loot crates and stuff like that in the game as well, and rather than the traditional League games where you actually have mouse control, we're going to be controlling our character with WASD. This actually seems really, really neat. Oh, Yeah, so you can hide in the bushes. Typical like a League game. I'm totally down for that. What am I supposed to do? Actually fight these rabbits for some reason? You start every match with your primary ability. Abilities are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Hold left mouse button to attack. Attacks will go in the direction of your cursor. Yeah, okay. Kind of soft that coming i'm not going to end up attacking those rabbits though i'm hoping that we're going to end up actually running into like random mobs in the map while we're also fighting other players because i think that that is where the game could really really shine loot orbs they contain abilities and equipment okay that's a little bit of a weird mechanic but i kind of like it so then we gotta grab them and steal them. There is gold as well. You obtain a new ability, activate it to unleash your other ability with the right mouse button. Abilities need a cool down for a short duration. Okay, well, at least it's a proper uh, tutorial instead of, you know, not explaining like anything like most games do. This guy is actually very user friendly, dude. Like seriously, this is so cool though. Like I really like the style of the game. It's fantastic. Like I've always been really interested in this game, uh, in Battle Red, I should say let alone like a Royale mode, this could actually be a thing. This ability allows you to leave combat quickly. Okay, it's a mobile ability, which is space. Most mobile abilities will go towards your cursor direction. Yeah, okay, so this gonna be like a jump or a teleport or something like that. I don't know why we would want to actually do that, but instead I'm going to use it to get into the battle because that was very cool. Okay, and we're building up a counter uh, towards the amount of damage that we're doing to enemies. I, I guess the whole point is now we would have to be, uh, you know, exploring the map for gear and stuff. The Death Vortex slowly engulfs the island. It deals heavy damage to those who come in contact with it. Yeah, okay, so it's Hunger Games. Press tab to toggle the map uh, and avoid the Death Vortex. Okay, uh, yep, so here's the Death Vortex slowly coming up to me. We also do get to see all of these uh, little things kind of in the vicinity of our character. So uh, I guess that's... Kind of a thing as well we gotta keep track of. Give me that. Do I got an arrow ability or is that a new weapon? What was that? You've had a piece of equipment. Equipment boosts a variety of stats including health damage and movement speed. Okay, so extra draw. Okay, so this just gives us damage and healing and our max health is increased as well. So is the battle vortex or death vortex whatever slowly coming up to me or am I just good? This is so cool though. There's boost, uh, boots of speed, so that's gonna be more movement speed, which is gonna be nice. Hello, you. Oh, okay. I tried to dodge that guy's bomb, but I didn't really have a dodge ability because I already ended up using it and going on a bit of a cooldown. But hey, whatever. This is still so cool though, and we're just messing around in the tutorial. I can't wait till we actually get into a match. Q. So that's going to be five additional abilities in total that you can unlock. Q is a new ability. Uh, okay, what is this one? Parry. Okay, negate up to five melee and projectile attacks. Melee triggers counterattacks that inflict stun. So uh, I guess it's just a toggle. Okay, and then it's on a cooldown as well. So 
we can kind of use that to our advantage an enemy champion is nearby defeat him to claim his loot you win matches by becoming the last one standing that's what i'm talking about this is where things are going to get a little bit more interesting i mean of course this is going to end up being a bot but uh hello random guy over there i'm going to destroy you you can go ahead and be a ranged character because i'm going to wreck your face anyways man Let's use our parry. Okay, parry is, is something kind of toggled. It seemed that while we had it equipped or, or uh, you know, on our character, we couldn't do any other abilities. Maybe I was wrong about that. You found an upgrade. All abilities and equipment have four different rarities. Okay, so it goes all the way up to yellow, uh, green, blue, purple, yellow. Okay, cool. Uh, the item becomes more powerful the higher the legendary items are. Okay. Can I not get any of these? Is it because they're all green? So I already have like the equivalent of a better ability or is it saying that my space bar ability ended up becoming more powerful because I'm noticing it is a blue. So I might've actually picked that up without even noticing. You reached hundred percent energy and can now use your ultimate ability. Uh Oh, uh, using your abilities to hit enemies grants you energy. Press F to use your ultimate press f to pay respects so what is this going to end up doing okay yeah that's a uh, very cool oh my gosh that was a cool ability and then he's got like a way that he gets out of the combat as well that's so cool now can we clutch it out and actually like dodge enemy attacks and stuff like that i'm wondering what is this stop and interact loot orbs are indestructible and can only be unlocked by standing still in front of the oh okay and look at this that's risky because then you'd be going for that while other people would be around potentially seeing you. Healing potion number one to drink it. Okay, you can hold up to three different types of consumables. Most consumables uh, can be stacked up as well. All right, let's try using that. Yeah, I figured. So we're going to be standing still while using a pot. So we can't actually use that in the middle of battle or anything like that. Got to be very, very careful when using those. A vendor is nearby. You can purchase upgrades from his store. Dude, the location of all vendors are always uh, displayed on your map. This is actually really, really cool. Now, the fact that it's displayed on the map uh, means that it's probably displayed on the map for everybody. So we'd have to be very, very careful while interacting with this guy. Like, seriously? The death vortex is incoming. Okay. Seismic shock. All right. I don't know what that is. Seismic shock, send forth a seismic shock, dealing more damage. Okay, whatever. It's just another ability to spam. Uh, another champion is ahead. Defeat him and claim victory. You got it, game. Don't you worry about this one. Hiya! Yeah, all right. You go right ahead and think that you're going to be powerful enough to defeat me because you're not. Why did. Okay. Ah! Okay, I see. So my ult ends up taking a little while before it ends up actually casting. That's what's going on. Okay. Meh! Fine, go ahead. You can do whatever you think you can do, but it's not going to help you because you're already dead, stupid. That's actually really cool. Most of all, because I think everyone else is going to be at my absolutely awful skill level. Ranged characters would be where it's at, but I love the mobility. Like, dude, I want this same game, but as an MMO, because this is like so fun and so well designed. Like, I can't believe it. Okay, and so you would be able to play it with a friend. Uh, you can only play duo, but it is the closed beta, so we don't actually know. Bronze League, so they actually do have a ranking system, which means that potentially you're not going to be up against other professionals. Because, <laughs> that, like, I'm really liking what these guys are doing. Like, they're taking all of the ingenuity that I ended up having in the normal Battle Right game, and they're turning it into a Royale. And it's just, I know I kind of am repeating myself here, but I really do think that this is a potential very very big like game you know like this is so cool okay let's see there's a desert part of the map there's a temple i'm hoping that there's gonna be like in these certain locations there would potentially be like bosses you could go for similar to league where you could actually like get stronger uh by buying like power-ups and junk like that you know what i mean okay let's just buy that sure why not Match is starting in only a few minutes. So how many players do we actually have? Oh my gosh, we got a lot of people around. Hello. Don't worry, I can't actually attack you. Hee <laughs> hee. This is so neat. I like it. Hello. Hello. Woo. We're going to all fight each other. Oh, that guy looks cool. How did he go on a mount? Zed. Oh, dude. I didn't know there was mounts in this game. The tutorial didn't teach us that one. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's so cool, though. Are we, uh... Oh, gosh. Are we all on a team here? 
Like, what's going on? No, these are all the other players. We're all going to be fighting each other. Oh my gosh, this is going to be intense. Like, there's so many people. Oh my goodness gracious, this is going to actually be, like, insane. That character's... Oh, these abilities are so neat of some of these characters. We got to watch out for that ice person, though, dude, because that was not a lot of... Uh, that was not a very long cast time, and they already are just going to freeze us instantly. Like, I can't get out of that in time. Jeez Louise, that's so cool, though. How do I close the vendor? I want to get rid of that guy. Huh! There we go. So that's what I got to do with this character is use my right click to kind of avoid this stuff. Oh, dude. I don't know if I want to be like this character. He's pretty neat, though. Don't get me wrong. But it seems like range might just be the way to go. I guess these other people are pretty tanky, though, in, in general, right? Come on. Let's start the match. Match starting soon. Okay, we got 30 people just hanging out here in the lobby. Hee hee. I'll use my ultimate of destiny. I shouldn't have been wasting it because I wonder... No, there's no way they're going to let us keep our ultimate in the middle of the actual round, are we? Interrupted? Oh, dude, this is going to be so chaotic. Trying to, like, pick a fight with so many people all around us. Jeez, dude, it's all just going to be about, like, picking them apart. Like, using your ult last second just to swipe all the kills in the middle. That would be where it's at, dude. See, look at that guy. Look at these abilities. These characters are so cool. There's that other guy that looked really, really neat and interesting that I wanted to check out. Okay, so uh, what is this little barrier around us? I wonder if that's got to do with cooldowns or something. Either way, we got 10 seconds left here. Okay, okay. Full round starting. If I can get even one kill, I'll be satisfied because I'm going into this completely blind. Why did he die? Whoa! Is this the battle bus? <laughs> It's a dragon creature thing. Dude, that's so cool. Thank you, bus driver. Woo! I'm gonna fly over to this dock area. Okay, there's a merchant up there. We got lots of other people. Oh gosh, I'm gonna land in this house. And then we've got another person right beside us. So we really gotta watch out. We really gotta watch out. Okay, we got purple here. Come on, come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Yes, we both ran into each other. It's not It's not good. First blood. This is really not good. Like, this guy's gonna probably kill me. Oh. Oh. No, I don't want to use a pot. I don't want to use a pot. I don't want to use a pot. All right, I'll just reflect all your ranged attacks on me. Okay, they can go ahead and fight each other. Oh, gosh. It's just chaos, man. It's just... <laughs> There's nothing we can do! Oh, it's such chaos. Dude, that's so cool, though. It's it's kind of disappointing I died so quickly, but I mean, I don't know what else you're supposed to do. Like, there's so many people around, and it's all just a big free-for-all. This in squads could actually be really, really fun, dude. Like, this could be a seriously competitive game. I think this is awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks to the devs for actually giving me the opportunity to play this closed beta and make a video for all of you because, man alive, this is awesome. I mean, I put links in the description for everything about this game. I'll do a little bit more research uh, towards, like, the release date and everything like that, and if I can find anything, I'll put that in the description as well because right now I was just so super-duper excited that I was able to actually play this, you know what I mean? But either way, it seems like range definitely might be the way to go. That said, I was able to absolutely destroy that other character. In any, any case, though, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, sub, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to support me, you can always sponsor the YouTube channel with that join button down below. Or buy some of my merch. Bah, bah, links in the description. As well as an option to use Gawkbox in a way that you can end up actually getting free money by playing phone games. And then end up donating it to me. How cool is that? It takes like two minutes of your time, seriously. Sign on stay up, everybody.